Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back to the Afterlife SMP. Today is episode 18. And, uh, yeah, in the last one, we got to work on our base. And, um, man, our base is coming together. You know, I'm really happy with it. Um, but yeah, today we are going to be shifting our focuses just a little bit from the base. I know, I know we've been focusing on that for a little while. So, uh, we're going to be working on- oh, <laughs> hi GP, how's it going? Um, speaking of GP, we just finished up a terraforming request right over here. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. We just wanted to terraform, or Winter just wanted to tear us to terraform his cliff sides. And, uh, well, I mean, you know, here we go. I think this is pretty good. You know, we got a little blend in the sand, kind of coming into the dirt. I think it's really cool, and man, <laughs> Winter, you madman. <laughs> This is absolutely huge. Anyways, speaking of terrific terraforming, we will be having a new member onto our team, King Z. King Z has decided to join us um, in the terraforming business, and GP might be taking a little break from it for a little while. But hey, we got one more terraforming request we gotta do for today's episode, and that is actually at Mario's base. And Mario would like us to go terraform his cliff sides right at his... Uh, Tuscan Castle? Village? Whatever it's called. Palace? I don't know. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get into it. Me and GP has, have got a lot of work ahead of us. Okay, GP, look at this cliff face we got here at Mario's base. And, uh, wh what do you, what do you think of this? I mean, you know, this is kind of your farewell to the terrific terraforming business, but, uh, you know, no sad, no sad memories here. Uh, what do how do you how do you stand with this cliff face here? Uh, my initial knee jerk impression of this was that uh, why why me <laughs> why us why terrific terraforming why do we have to take this under our wing? Mm -hmm. I mean we we negotiated a bit with Square Mario. We're only doing a third of it now. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the whole thing, which yeah. I'm mm -hmm. so glad. But I think it's gonna be a good sort of oh a, a farewell a good yeah oh, goodbye. Okay, well, uh, I guess with that, uh, we should just get started on this. You know, we got these two blue areas marked out. Mario uh, nicely marked out these big old areas here for us. <sighs> this will be a while, but, uh, you know, we'll hope it's going to be at least a little fun on the way. So uh, let's get into it. Oh guys, we have a problem. Uh, yeah, so I logged off after doing the cliff terraforming somewhere at spawn. You know, it was late at night. And I think I think I made a mistake. I think uh, KB told me to record right as I get on. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, but uh, uh, I'll say hi because I just logged on. <laughs> but what is going on here? Am I supposed to like dig out of this? I can't really find any way out of here, so I don't know. I guess we'll just dig out of here and see what's happening. Huh. Okay, I guess that's the top of the mountain. What do these signs say here? Uh, dear Ash, I saw you wandering the shopping area and thought I'd bring you up here to keep you safe from all the dangers of the afterlife server. <laughs> you are lucky I found you instead of one of the other dangerous members hope this is a safe scare to remind you of the dangers your friendly neighborhood kb oh you know what i'm not mad that was actually really nice <laughs> i appreciate that just a small little uh gift i guess keep and be safe i appreciate it what a great guy um you know anyways guys we got uh the mushroom shop we are going to be building with our torvian here just a little bit um in the last video I actually showed you in the industrial district um, he built up a mushroom farm and since we both need mushroom stems for our builds he thought it would be a good time a good thing to team up 
uh, and build a shop for it. So yeah, let's go see what he has to say. Well, hello Artorvian, how are you doing today? And, um, well, what are we doing here today? Uh, perched atop this hill in spawn. Well, I recently built a mushroom stem block farm and I was thinking we could make some profit out of it. You see, there's at least one other member, GP, who is planning on building with mushrooms and yeah. uh, we, we're using mushrooms in our bases as well. So I thought we could maybe make a few diamonds out of selling these blocks. So yeah. I, I think we're planning on making a giant mushroom yep. popping out of this place here and possibly having the shop beneath it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted to make sure it st stood out right on top of this hill, so uh, we're definitely going to be standing out here. We're going to be making all the diamonds. At least that's the theory. Uh, so I guess we should just uh, get to building this mushroom. All right, Artorian, and we have one complete mushroom build here. Uh, I think this is looking so nice. I love the jungle underneath, and... Uh, Yo, well, what do you think of it after you built it here on survival? I think it looks really nice, yeah. Um, I, I'm especially liking the dense overgrowthness mm -hmm. beneath the base yeah. of it. I think that looks really nice. I, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be rolling in diamonds after this. Uh, and I feel like people will be persuaded to purchase things like this uh, later down the line. Just mm -hmm. because it just looks really appealing. Because once mm -hmm. you exit the terraforming shop here, it you, we could possibly add later on some uh, mushrooms and things down the side of this path. Yeah. Just leading up to this, it's just a really nice looking feature on top of this hill. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you know what's not so good is that we don't really have a shop yet. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's not going to be very good for diamonds. We have a torch, we could sell that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, torch. 64 diamonds, it's legendary. And um, if you use this torch, it's going to light up your whole base. Okay. <laughs> Great shop. Now, let's uh, let's get to building some interior. We have an idea. We're going to build it similar to how I did my potion shop. Um, over here, where we have the doors. Or we have like a cave leading into door. Just like this. So we have a cave, and then there's like doors leading into different sections. But we're just going to have one door, simply because that'll be easier, and it's kind of annoying to go through every door. Okay, so we have an interior finish down here. And as mm -hmm. you can see, it's sort of like an overgrown mushroomy cave. So yeah. by the entrance, we have some roots coming down. I guess they're roots, I don't really know <laughs> what the terminology is. Yeah. But, um, we have loads of vines and things, mm -hmm. and uh, as you can see here, we have the stock. So basically, it's it's really simple. We have an emerald in here telling you how much it is, and uh, yeah, we got stock, and hopefully we get some business here. I mean, mushrooms are quite an uncommon block, so we'll see. And I guess we have yet to decorate the like stock rooms. I guess they're a little bland. Um, but uh, you know what? You know what we're missing here, guys. We had a cool idea where we have this suspicious stew mini game, um, but in order to have this suspicious stew mini game, that's a tough word to say. We need to go and get a mushroom island, or find one, and then get a mushroom. Luckily, we have coordinates to it, so we're gonna head over there and uh, see what we can find. Okay, guys. Well, we have our mushrooms here, <laughs> and uh, well, spawn is zero zero. And we are at uh, 2,000, 2,000 X and Z coordinates. So that kind of means we have like 4,000 blocks to travel. We, we have a journey ahead of us, Artorian. Let's, let's get to it then.
And finally, I got the Mushroom here. Oh man, time to name it. What should we name him? I'm gonna name him... Annoying. Your name's Annoying. <laughs> I named the Mushroom Annoying. Finally here. Uh... <laughs> your cow I'm just fell off water. a cliff. Oh, well that's Dude. good. At least it didn't die. Okay, Annoying, get inside this door. I need you to get... Get in here. Annoying is inside the shop. There we go. <laughs> Finally Why got it. So I have your name tag ready for when you get here. Okay, so we have the mushrooms. I think the other one's down there, is it? Yeah, in the small wooden doorway. How did I just get under here? That was I cool. Have okay. No idea. <laughs> right. Anyways. Where's the anvil? Uh, right here. So I need to rename it so that he doesn't despawn. Yeah, and then we are going to breed up these mushrooms, and, uh, you know, on our long journey, we thought a good shop idea was to actually sell mushrooms. Now, um, we're not going to sell the ones that give suspicious stew. Oh, nope. <laughs> we're only going to sell the ones that give mushroom stew. So, you know, maybe it'll be a good shop, maybe it won't, but we'll find out. Well, I've got a good name for this mushroom. <laughs> Tom Bombadil. Interesting right, name. Okay. He just pokes his head right through there. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like one of those. In it's very silly. In like mansions and things. Yeah, you have to where break they have, the, break the door. Where they have the um, the animal heads go. on those packs on the walls. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, we've got two mushrooms now, and. We're also thinking of possibly selling them as just a like, yeah. pet shop. This, this shop sells everything. This this is go just going to yeah. be... Everything mushroom related. Stuff. I think that'll be our next endeavor here, but uh, I got some other things to work on, Artorian. Uh, so yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch you later. Okay, um... See you. Yeah. yeah, I really hope this does well. So guys, that was really fun working with Artorian, but... We have a little bit of uh, something else to do now. Now that our mushroom shop is ready to go, we actually have a prank we need to do. If you guys remember in the last video, Jay sentenced us to uh, having to prank someone on the Afterlife server. And he messaged me on Discord of who it was, and I have to prank Square Mario. It is time we go prank Square Mario. I hope he doesn't know anything. He shouldn't know anything about it. If he does, that's not very good, but um, I, I have an idea. I have an idea of what I would like to do. So you guys know how we terraformed his cliff earlier in this video. Well, I actually want to make him a secret, <laughs> a secret door inside his cliff face. Um, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be a little mischievous and uh. Well, it's actually going to be a trap. And guys, might I just say, this cliff is looking so cool. We never got to see it in person because uh, KB moved my pig. But, I mean, just look at this place. This place is so... I don't know. I don't know. It's just I really love this cliff face. And, uh, yeah, I hope Mario enjoys it just as much. But right here, we are going... Um, no, not right there. we got to figure out a good spot where we can put this, this, uh, this secret door. <laughs> So I guess my idea is that we would have our um, uh, button right there. Okay, it's just, you know, j just a button. And there's going to be a trap door here that you flip down. And this will open up a secret door right through here. And um, since he's going to be like crawling, okay, like this. He's going to be like this. Pretend that's a trap door. And then you'll be able to crawl right through here after you hit the button. And uh, y yeah, that that's where the trap's going to happen. I think this is going to be pretty fun. 
Uh, I don't exactly know what I want to trap him with yet, but we'll figure that out. And guys, here we are. I've got our uh, pranking mechanism. So as you can see, uh, hold on, let's get out here. Here's what's going to happen. You hit this button, okay, and you know, you're coming through here and it seems all normal and there's a light at the end of the road. And basically, how it's going to work is I'm going to tell him why I built it, which you'll know in a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'll get to the end and I'm like, yeah, I built this thing for blank. <laughs> and, uh, you know, see you later, Mario. <laughs> and he's going to drop down into, huh, what should we add? I don't know yet, but I do have an idea. Um, we're going we're gonna to see if this is going to work out, but uh, I'm going to need a little bit of obsidian. I'm going to need obsidian for this. Okay, and it looks like I need to get more obsidian, but as you can see, he's going to fall into some cobwebs. And why, what am I doing this for? What? There's going to be lava down at the bottom. And in this lava, well, he's not going to escape unless he get unless we get a confession that he he got intel from Winter uh, that he stole the dragon egg, or I mean that uh, Winter gave him intel on where the dragon egg is. So, hmm, if he doesn't confess, then well, it looks like he's fallen in the lava, guys. Okay, you know what guys? I just finished building up this thing. I didn't get all the obsidian because I'm lazy right now. <laughs> and um, you know, I'm thinking I'm thinking instead of putting a lava at the bottom, I'm gonna be nice and we're just gonna put a creeper egg down there. Yeah. Or we're, we're, we're just we're just gonna get a creeper tag. <laughs> He's gonna be creeper tagged if he uh if he doesn't well, admit that he stole or got intel from Winter about the dragon egg whereabouts. So uh, I guess let's get Mario in here and uh, let's see what he has to say. All right, hello Mario. Um, so I know this is probably like a really weird tangent in your video, but uh, I had to show you this. I I tested out my redstone skills with this little little doorway. It's pretty cool. Okay, and um, basically when I was terraforming this, I somehow found a mob farm. There were a bunch of noises. Um, so you just flip this down. And yeah, you can come in here. And there's like this little tunnel way and you'll see the mossy cobble at the end. Yes. Oh cool. It'll flip the trapdoor down, so yeah. And it was just it was just a small little thing, you know, I had to show you. Can you can you come back out and show me how to how to do it and I'm like <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am glitching the heck out. Okay. You can hit it one more time. Appreciate it. Okay. So you right, just well, me... you hold up right here, you bam. Alright, awesome. At this point, guys, I knew Mario was up to something and that I was screwed. Just enjoyed this next part. I'm sorry, Ash. I'm that sorry. was well played. I'm sorry, that it was... was a creeper tag challenge, okay? No oh way. Goodness. Oh my god. Mario. Goodness. You. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait a sec. Does this is it Jay's creeper challenge? Creeper tag challenge. Yeah, it is, dude. Hmm. Hmm. This also your creeper tag challenge? Yes. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. My like I made that connection the other day. What? Like, during I don't I don't even know what it was. I think during the podcast. Wow. We were talking about creeper tag. And I'm like, oh, Ash has to prank someone. So I'm like, this seems like a oddly weird time to be showing me a secret door so uh -huh. i did some investigating here <laughs> and <laughs> oh my so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to ask jay does that mean i still have to prank you because um because i i don't know i i had this all planned out ready to go <laughs> i'm sorry dude Nah, that's, no, it's fine. I plan. actually am so glad this happened this way. Wow. I don't know. Maybe uh, my stuff glitched through the wall. That's, hmm, that's quite odd. Here, I'll help you dig. Yeah. Don't do all that damage sometimes. I don't I... know where my stuff actually went. <laughs> oh, this is kind of weird. This is bad. I mean, it's okay if I lost my stuff. I, I, think, I think it's kind of cool. I hope but... not. Yeah, anvils sometimes destroy items when falling on them, even if they aren't placed successfully. Huh, interesting. Oh, no. 
I mean, that's okay. I think I know why that happened. It's because I died before all the anvils fell. Wait, no, that doesn't even make any sense. That's okay, though. That's okay, though. No, I I I'm definitely- I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, I can probably get you some new stuff, to be honest, because- no, that was- that was worth it. That was so good. Well, guys, that didn't go as planned, clearly. Um, so I lost all my stuff, but luckily, Mario is going to help me out a little bit here, so, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Mario. Appreciate it. Golden carrots. Yeah, he's gonna help me get back at my gear since all of it got squashed by the anvils. And I get to keep the anvils, which is just A+. Plus. Uh, wow. Okay. Thanks, Mario. I'm gonna ask him, is that for terraforming job? Temporary compensation. Oh, for losing my stuff. Okay, that's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, I'll make good use of that. Um, but with that, guys, I think I'm gonna have to end, <laughs> end the episode here, because, uh, next one, we're gonna be jumping into 116. Yes, 116, the server, is going to be updating, and I'm super, super excited, and, uh, I have to get my gear back. So, uh, with that, I'll catch you in the next one.